again, everybody, and welcome to the Greyhound Football Report with Coach Donnie Harrison, Athletic Director, Head Football Coach Newport Greyhounds. Always a pleasure to get to visit with you. Yes, sir. Summertime when we filmed, we did find a nice, cool spot in the gymnasium to film, nice air conditioning spot, but uh, we got a lot going on, Coach. We want to talk about some of the things going on in June, yes, uh, specifically what's going on the first couple of weeks and the last couple of weeks, as a matter of fact. Okay. What do we got going on, Greyhound football-wise? Well, Greyhound football-wise, we have a pad camp coming coming up on June 6th. Okay. It's going to be Friday out here and uh, we've got a couple of teams coming and it's just a, a time for us to kind of uh, work our guys and, and, and build on what we've done the last couple of weeks in spring football. Uh, of course coming off the spring football scrimmage which is uh, um, May 29th so right. we got a little work there but then to get to go against other people uh, it's always good to hit somebody else other than yourself. Um, but then uh, after that, it kind of calms down a little bit. We got guys, and, and they'll come in and lift weights okay. and do some things on a on a weekly basis. But the end of June is the AAA Dead Week, which okay. states that we cannot have kids anywhere in the vicinity of us and in, in the facilities working with them. So that's time that that coaches normally go on their vacations sure. and or. Uh, there is a uh, clinic in triple, a AAA host a clinic at Conway, and we go down there and we uh, sit in on meetings that we have to have that are state mandated about concussion and heat illness and uh, uh, staff infection and MRSA and things like that. And that's what we handle that way as coaches. Talk a little bit more about pad camp for those older folks who weren't familiar. A lot, a lot of guys out there go, well, what's spring practice? What is that? I mean, we actually have a spring practice. Arts yes. Activity Association said a couple, three, four, five, six, ten years ago we didn't yep. have spring practice. Or, Maybe longer than that, but anyway, what what exactly is a pad camp? A pad camp is where we invite people, and uh, they come. And what we do is we go helmets, shoulder pads, and uh, hip, and you know thigh pads. That's okay. pretty much it. You don't have to go full pads. You you try not to have anybody on the ground, uh, but it's just a way to scrimmage. Okay. Um, you know, there's currently there's only three states that actually will do spring football and a spring football scrimmage against another school which is Louisiana, Florida, and Texas. Okay. They actually let you scrimmage somebody else at the end of spring practice. Well, we don't do that. We're not allowed to do that, but you're allowed to attend two pad camps. Okay. So we are going to actually host a pad camp on June the 6th and then we're going to host a pad camp where we've got a bunch of schools coming every Thursday in July. Okay. And we're going to we're going to just it's just a way to scrimmage and work on your stuff and every Thursday in July at 10 o'clock in the morning We've got three or four teams coming every every Thursday, and we're going to get after it. And again, just just a way to fine tune what we're doing, get some of our young guys some experience, and and uh, you know get them ready to play on Friday nights. Well, we're finishing up with spring practice when we film. We hadn't played the spring game uh, uh, yet. Like you said, it's coming up on the 29th in the golf tournament. You know, by the time a lot of you watch it, those things have already uh, already taken place. But I know you were excited about the golf tournament. And yes. Talk a little bit about what you had expected there. Well, we we're doing a two-man scramble and our two-person scramble. And uh, we were blessed that uh, Newport Country Club has allowed us to, to borrow their facilities on, on Friday, uh, May 30th, and we're gonna get started. Registration's at 11. Uh, the golf tournament's at one o'clock. Shotgun start at one o'clock. It's 50 bucks per team. Right. All that money is gonna go to uh, the uh, Newport Football Booster Club. Uh, we're going to try to flat the tournament as much as we can. Sure. Uh, that way there's more than just one person, one team that wins. We'll try to flat it. Uh, we're going to do a closest to the pin competition for okay. a new putter. Uh, we just, we're going to have a good time and, and hopefully it will become an annual event. If everything goes good, I really see the Newport Country Club coming through and saying, well, that's something we want to be a part of every year. Um, and, uh, and hopefully it's something that we want to we wanna do as a Newport Football Booster Club, something that we can, we can make some money, but at the same time too, allow people to come out and have a good time playing golf. All the coaches will be out there, you know, we'll be out there playing. Some of us will be playing, some of us will just be out there, but you know, I just, uh, we're looking for ways, instead of just asking people for money, they can come and have a good time and know the money's going to us. We're trying to raise money for an end zone camera. Uh, that's what we're really looking at doing for our program is getting an end zone camera, which is just a, a, a different angle. Yes, it is, it's a, and it's a great angle yes, too. Yes, it's a great angle. It's great for teaching our kids. We want to use it for junior high and senior high. So that's what we're looking at doing. Um, we're doing a 50-50 pot. Okay. Where you can buy into a 50-50 pot, and at the end of the day, when we announce who the winner is, we'll also announce who the winner is of the 50-50 pot. Wow. It's going to be good. We're having a good, good time. 
Well, there's no doubt, you know, not only just a fundraiser, but I think you know this as well as I do in many, many years that, that I followed the Greyhounds, is when, when you're in need, when the program's in need, people will step up. You talk about the country club and others, too, that uh, when you need something, we we're usually we we'll usually get it done, no doubt. Oh, absolutely. That's what I was uh, bragging about the other day, some people in our community, was we did a, uh, a fundraiser through Adrenaline, and uh, they're a company out of Texas, and they make a card, and it has a bunch of coupons right. in it. Um, we did it at the same time that four other schools in the state of Arkansas did it, and we beat all the other is four schools. Right? Is that right? And uh, they couldn't believe it because there was a couple of schools that were a lot bigger than us. Right. And the guy that was in charge of ours, he, he said, you just beat so-and-so and so-and-so. And, -so, and he, we beat all these other towns. And he said, I, I can't believe it. And I said, whoops, that's Newport. Because when Newport. it comes to supporting the Greyhounds, everybody's going to support the Greyhounds. And, uh, you know, it, it's, it's just awesome that we can come out and say, this is what we need. Uh, but at the same time, too, we, we try not to just stand out there all the time and hold our hand out. Sure. So if we have a chance to you to come out and have a good time and, and, and do something like play golf and, and you and your buddy can come out and do a scramble, you pay the 50 bucks, you know, number one, it pays for you to have fun and, and play in the tournament, but it also goes to us. And uh, we have a lot of people, not just here in Newport, but all over, that support the Greyhounds. Absolutely. And we're very appreciative of that. And I think a lot of folks see this show and, and, and doing it on uh, doing it on. Uh, uh, YouTube and doing it on Facebook and it gives everybody an opportunity on the internet and putting it on our, our website at cable15tv.com. A lot of Greyhound fans throughout the United States can kind of keep up with what we're doing here. Let's talk a little bit field. You know, we talked and bragged so much about our AstroTurf and it's just beautiful, beautiful, yes, beautiful. Uh, give us an up, uh, upgrade if you could on the stands and where we where, where we are on that. The stands are, are, are going to be done shortly. Uh, the company has a team. Uh, that they have teams that are out uh, doing other places that okay. were in front of us, and as soon as they're done, they're going to head this way. Uh, we're, of course, again, uh, new stadium is going to go from the 20 to the 20. Uh, should be a little higher than our right. old ones. We're having 500 chair back seats in the middle, which we will sell. Uh, there'll be a little extra, but we're going to sell those, um, and uh, we'll get a new press box, right. bigger press box. Yeah. Uh, everybody's all excited about that. And then, of course, the other night at the school board meeting, we uh, voted in. Uh, our school board was uh, so, you know, gracious to uh, get us a new school board. So we're going to get a state-of-the-art school board. It's going to have a big screen TV in the middle of it. Uh, nothing like what you see at the Arkansas Razorbacks. But, again, it will be able to do things like run a commercial, right. uh, put up pictures. It's very, very nice, and uh, the, the design is awesome. Well, I've seen a I've seen a picture of it, and there's no doubt that it is good, and lots of good things happening. And then, of course, folks that don't know, and we talk about this on this program the last couple of months, summertime, and springtime, summertime is it, it's football time. It's oh. it's it's always it's a 12 month. Uh, 12 month out of the year job anymore for not only the coaches but for the players and absolutely and when you guys are good enough to work around baseball and track and things and basketball and so on mm -hmm. but but it, it, it's time to go to work and we're working steadily to, to make the Greyhounds a, a contender oh absolutely and, and you know we came I talk about it all the time we don't want to just win football games we want to host games in November right we want to be here as long as we can be here so I mean to, to keep up and, and, and we got to feed the beast we're always working these guys out we're always trying to, as coaches, go talk to other coaches about some of the things that they're doing that can make us better, uh, whether it's college coaches or some of the bigger programs in the state of Texas. We're always going and talking to people because as a, as a coach and staff, we know we can get better. We know we can learn more. And we're always out there trying to figure out a way for, for the Greyhounds to get better. And, and that's what I love about our coaching staff right now is we're pushing these guys right now, but we're also looking at some things and, and trying to figure out some, some modifications that we can make in July, some things that we can add and, and just to get better. And, and, you know, what can we do to help some of our younger kids get more experience and things like that? Well, I do know this, and it's just right around the corner before we suit up and play on a Friday night. It, it ought to be an exciting year for the Hounds. Uh, uh, everybody is talking about us in the state of Arkansas. They think the Hounds have got a chance to uh, uh, do quite well. And uh, uh, you just you, you, you come and you work all summer. And, you you know, these kids who, who will be seniors is a class that when we've looked at down through the years when they were little guys playing in Pee Wee, they said, oh, when these guys get to be seniors, they, they ought to be a pretty good group. And I, mm -hmm. I think senior leadership is always important in a in a in and how far along you go along the way, but I think your senior leadership will be outstanding this year. Oh, oh, absolutely, it's huge. I mean, just like you said, I wasn't on, I wasn't on our campus two days, and I heard about this group. And right. They were in eighth grade at the time, going to be in ninth grade. 
uh, you know, so many of these guys have played so many games for Already, us in the last yeah, two years. Yeah. So, you know, it, it's it's not like we're going in and having to teach a quarterback what to do because we've had this guy for two years. A Mike Linebacker, what to do, we've had him two years. An, uh, a left tackle, what to do, we've had him two years. Uh, our other outstanding linebacker, uh, we've had him for two years. He knows what to do. Uh, and, and some of our other guys, but those, that senior leadership is, is huge. And uh, they come out and they're, they're doing a good job. And uh, they, they understand the importance of what's going on this year. That this is, some, for some of them, this will be the last time they play football. Absolutely. And, uh, you for know, most they, of them. Yes, for most, for most of, them. of them. And we got a couple that, are, that have got a really good chance of going and doing some things. But, you know, for some of them, they understand this is the last spring practice. Yes, sir. You know, they understand this is going to be the last fast hounds they go through. This is going to be the last August practice. You know, they're, they're, they're only guaranteed those 10 games. That's it. That's all they're guaranteed. So they're trying to push their younger guys and make sure they, they keep up with the work ethic and they do a good job. And it all comes down to, you know, you have to, and I talk to them about it all the time, you have to set the standard. I can go out there and yell and scream all I want because I'm not getting what I want, but it, it goes a lot further when a senior comes over and tells a guy that he's not giving the Absolutely. effort he deserves. And Absolutely. that's what these guys are doing a good job of right now. Coach, good to see you. It's good to see you. Pleasure as always to get to Absolutely. visit. We can talk anytime. I can talk about the Greyhounds. I know it excites me, and we want to remind everybody that the show is brought to you by Subway in the Newport Walmart Super Center. Lots of specials going on each and every month. They'll have a special of the month, and have several specials of the month. And and uh, of course, the Sampsons, Jeff and Lauren Sampson, wanted me to remind you about the lunch special that they have. The Thursday lunchbox business special. Where, uh, we order five or more particular lunches. You get a six-inch sub, chips, and a cookie, and it's six dollars each, which includes tax, and they deliver. They deliver. Call 523-2309. Subway in the new Walmart Supercenter. Coach, good to see you, my good friend. Good to see you. Go Hounds.